Hi folks and welcome to another video from Brummie in the Highlands. Now I couldn't resist but come out today. I wasn't going to do any vlogging today but I couldn't resist coming out today on a day like this here on the Black Isle. Now just look at this. We are in Cromarty which is a small village right on the edge of the, uh, the Black Isle there, right at the very top. Steeped in history and we're looking just at the moment over the Cromarty Firth towards Nig and that's the Nig boatyard over there. Now you can see there in the distance an old ship and some oil rigs. Now basically what they do they bring the oil rigs here to be refurbished and repaired and then tow them back out to sea. So I think we'll see quite a few of those today as we walk around Cromarty. Now it's a very quaint little fishing village this and you can see the streets how narrow they are and you've got the old-fashioned lamps there. The roads are very narrow. Lots of the villages on the Black Isle the roads are very narrow but very colourful in the summer because they do tend to line the streets, the paths there with uh, very colourful flower pots. Lovely to see in the summer. But we'll just walk, make our way towards the lighthouse and we'll go and have a look at that. And just as we make our way around, just take a look at the colours again on these houses. They're beautiful, aren't they, the colours? Now when I did my video in Rosemarkey, I think I mentioned this, that uh, the houses are painted in lovely bright colours. And you'll see more evidence of that as we walk around. There's a gift shop there, pottery, gifts and crafts and an art gallery around the back. Isn't it beautiful? Just take a look how narrow the streets are there, leading up that way. Now Cromart is steeped in history as you can imagine. It's the birthplace of Hugh Miller, a famous geologist, and we'll go and check out the house he was born in. I think that's a little museum now, we can go and take a, a peek at that. But we'll head along the coast first of all. So we'll just make our way now along the coast. This area is called the Lynx, the Cromarty Lynx, and this links one side to the other. Now you can imagine this gets very, very busy in the summer. Lots of camper vans were parking here, but I think they've stopped all that now. Now we've got another view there of Nig. Now it's not technically an island, it's a peninsula, but there is a ferry that runs from Cromarty across to the other side there, across to Nig, just by where those um, oil rigs are. Now you can see there, just on the hill there, you can see the lighthouse. Now if you like lighthouses, We've got two good ones on the Black Isle. We've got this one at Cromarty and we've got one down near Four Troes at Shannonry Point. And they are really well looked after. We'll try and get a bit closer to that if we can. And you can see an oil rig just in the distance there. That's waiting to come in. We've even got a cinema as well here in Cromarty. This structure here that they built recently. Well, I think it was pre-Covid they built it. Could be wrong, let me know. A uh, little cinema. There we go, look at that cinema here in Cromarty. 
and it gives you the viewing times as well and what they're doing there we go that's unusual isn't it its own little cinema there we go folks the lighthouse isn't that gorgeous We'll see how close we can get to that. It's well looked after that. Not sure if we're allowed to go in, but we're going to have a wee peek. Now I think this was up, started operation back in 1846, this particular lighthouse. And then it was decommissioned in 2005, I believe. Now I'm no historian, I just say it as I see it. So if you need to check these facts, please do. But look, it's so well looked after. I wonder what it is now. University of Aberdeen, it says on that. I wonder if it's got connections to that, then it must have. A oh, lovely place. Just pan around again, we'll take another look at that lighthouse from this angle. Now Cromart is quite a big village. So I think we'll have to do two videos. We'll call this one part one, I think, Cromarty part one. And then we'll come back at another time and do a Cromarty part two and cover all the rest of it. But we'll have a quick wonder about. As I say, the weather today was just too good to miss. Yeah, so I'm just coming to the slipway now. This is where the ferry, during the summer season, this is where the ferry departs. And it goes all across the Cromarty Firth there. Just to that jetty that you can see in the distance there, in the centre of the shot. Over to Nig on the peninsula there. But look, you're getting a good shot of the beach now. And out into the Cromarty Firth, which leads out into the North Sea. Isn't that fantastic? Now just over across the water there, you're looking towards Invergordon, which is where the big cruise ships come in, in the summer. And this year we had over 120 cruise ships come in, so it's a very busy time for uh, the Highlands. And there we go, just take a look at that. That's the harbour, normally full of little boats. Not today, it's very quiet. It's the closed season, but nevertheless beautiful. And I'll just pan around towards the rest of the coast there. So there we go folks, we'll just take one last look, there's the beach. And some rather active people there in the boat, just pulling it in I think, they must have been out on the water. Isn't that beautiful, Cromarty Harbour. Okay folks, so we're just making our way from the harbour now, just walking up the high street. But across to your right there you'll see a little unit. Now that's the fire station and next to it you've got a company called Eco Ventures. Now they will take you out on a very fast boat, a rib, and you can go looking for the dolphins and they are very successful finding the dolphins so if you come to Cromarty on a nice day even on a bad day you can go out with these people eco ventures there they are 
and you can go and find the dolphins. And you've got the Royal Hotel there, just on the seafront. And Suiters Creek. A little restaurant or takeaway there. And we'll just pan round. We'll get another shot there of the lighthouse. You get the idea of where we are. That's George Street, just there. So just take a look at how narrow the streets are, folks. But how nicely painted the houses are. We'll have a walk down here. We're going to take a look down here. These are slightly wider. This road's slightly wider and you've got the Freemasons Hall on the left there. Robertson's Lodge that. There we go. So we're just making our way back towards the links that we walked across earlier. And we'll go and head towards Hugh Miller's cottage, the birthplace of Hugh Miller. We'll go and take a look at that here in Cromarty. So just coming up on the right folks, we've got Cromarty Primary School, that's a small school isn't it? There we go, lovely building. Cromarty Primary School, with a lovely view over the Cromarty Firth there. A lovely antiques corner there, shop on the corner of uh, Church Street as we make our way down. Now this is a particularly interesting street, I want to take you down here. Because this will take us down to where Hugh Miller's cottage is. The famous geologist who was born here in Cromarty. Ingrid's house, lovely little shop there. And Cromarty Cafe. If you want some refreshments. Again, look at the colours. Not sure if the camera's picking that up too well, but the colours of the houses are beautiful. They really are. And the stonework. So on the right there we've got the Episcopal Church, St Regulus. And then the Hugh Miller Institute. Now that was the gift of Andrew Carnegie Esquire. Looks a bit like a library to me. Again, I guess, is it a library? Yes it is, it's the library, Cromarty Library, there we go. But originally it was the Hugh Miller Institute, the gift of Andrew Carnegie. Lovely building. Look at the architecture, isn't it gorgeous? So we're getting closer now to Hugh Miller's cottage. Now here, just past this house on the left, that used to be the Cromarty Arms. I'm not sure if it's still called the Cromarty Arms. I know it's been taken over recently. But that used to be the Cromarty Arms. Ah, it's called the Fisher Town Inn now. You could probably get a beer or two in there if you were visiting. And the Cromarty Courthouse, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Here we go. Hugh Miller's cottage, I can see it just with the thatched roof there. All these 
those little alleyways. Very narrow, you wouldn't get a car down there. If you did, you wouldn't get it out. So here we go, folks. Hugh Miller's Cottage, the birthplace of Hugh Miller. Now, according to that plaque on the wall, he was born in this house on the 10th of October, 1802. And he died on the 24th of December, 1856. Now, this is a museum as well. I think this is open more in the summer, to be honest with you. But you can go in in the summertime and check it all out. There we go, Hugh Miller's Cottage. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? And the thatched roof as well. That really is fantastic. Now I'll continue walking along Church Lane. You've got an old cobble street there. Look at that. Look at the stones there. And the road signs, look, look at the, uh, look at the signs there, the street names. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. Being a Brummie, I'll get it totally wrong. So this one's called the Big Venel. I can pronounce that one. Somebody please tell me if I've got that wrong. And then while we just walk along, we'll just take a look at that Bellevue house. Look at that. Take a look at that. Would you want to live there? Yes, in the summer, not in the winter. Little Venel, this one. Little Venel, there we go. And you can see the Cromarty Firth in the distance there. And the thing I like about this, look at all the street lamps. Look at that. Imagine that at Christmas with a bit of snow on the ground. I couldn't think of anywhere better. St Anne's. That one's called St Anne's. Now I could spend all day making a video on this. As I say, I think we'll have to do part one and part two, and this certainly will be part one. Wellington House, that one. Somebody's left their apples there. So we could walk all the way down here. Again, look at these narrow little passages. The East Church, historic Paris Church. There's an old boat there as well. I bet there's some history in that graveyard. I wonder if anybody still uses this church. Let me know. So just at the end of Church Lane now, or the beginning, whichever way you're coming from, you've got the East Hall. Now I wonder what that's used for. It doesn't look as though it's used anymore. That looks like the old school hall, doesn't it? But again, if anybody knows, let me know. I'm always keen to know these things. The Black Isle is a wonderful place. So much to learn. The old brewery. The old brewery. I think that speaks for itself really, doesn't it? Again, I'll point out these um, street name signs because they've got this lovely plaque on the end there. That must be the Cromarty um, Arms, I would think. And then that takes us down to uh, another part of Cromarty, which I will come back to, down by where the South Suter is. The South Suter being that hill there the entrance to the Cromarty Firth, which you can climb up and get fantastic views, but that's certainly for another day. Um, and we'll just make our way quickly down to 
the sea front and we'll take one last look but uh, it's certainly a place to visit if you come into the Black Isle along with Rose Markey and Four Troes and Ock and the whole of the Black Isle let's not miss anybody out Well there we go folks, that was a quick visit to Cromarty on the Black Isle. I couldn't resist coming out, the weather is fantastic here and we're nearly into December now. But I hope you've enjoyed that video of Cromarty. Again, as I said before, we will need to come back and do part two. It's just too much to see to do it all on one video. So if you've liked it, press the like button, press the subscribe button and the little bell button to give you notifications of any future videos and there will be more there will be more i also have a facebook page brummy in the highlands check that out i put some photos on there and there will be links to the videos but uh, um, until the next time from brummy in the highlands from cromarty on the black isle see you again